Today I want to talk to you about what I use for bug and insect repellent. And we'll just go here from the biggest can on down to the littlest. This here is uh, permethrin, and I'm going to be treating all these clothes here. And I'll be uh, showing you what I do. I learned it actually from, I don't know who it was, but it was on a YouTube video. Instead of just following the directions on the can, he sprays them all and puts them in a plastic bag and leaves them overnight before he dries them that way. He said it permeates the clothes um, more deeply and it lasts him all summer long. So that is what I'm going to do. And this is uh, very effective for ticks and mosquitoes. It says chiggers, but we don't have chiggers around here. And, but ticks are a major problem in Wisconsin, and many of our friends have had Lyme disease. Um, a couple of our children have had it. My daughter's had it multiple times. Lyme disease, if you catch it right away, and all the, the other infections you can get from, from ticks, you can usually get rid of it. But if you don't notice it, um, deer ticks are incredibly tiny, and they apparently are the worst um, most infectious in the spring when they're just the nymph stage. They're so tiny, they're almost microscopic. And very easily for them to bite you and suck your blood and leave without you even knowing it. And next thing you know, you're starting to get feverish and achy joints. And, um, and if you ignore it, don't go to a doctor to think you have the flu. It can become a life-altering, life-lasting um, disease and it can kill you. And if it doesn't kill you, it can destroy the rest of your life so that you're constantly having flashes of symptoms coming back and sometimes it's just pure crippling throughout the rest of your life. But this is a good thing. It takes multiple things to fight these bugs off. I am like the most delicious thing on earth for mosquitoes. So my last camping trip, I used both of these and it seemed to have no effect at all on the mosquitoes. So I don't know if it's because these cans are getting old or if I was just incredibly tasty this last weekend. But this here is DEET. This is 40% DEET. Um, when I was young, you could get 100% DEET, which was very effective. Um, but I don't know that you can even get it anymore. You might be able to find it online. And this here is uh, Picaridin, Picaridin, uh, Repel, and this also protects you against ticks and mosquitoes and chiggers and all of those other things. But nothing works 100% for me. Now around here, like where I'm sitting at now, mosquitoes are not that big of a problem. If you go into the deep of the woods, there's some mosquitoes, but nothing like northern Wisconsin or where I grew up as a child in central Wisconsin, which is, um, which is sand country. The mosquitoes are just horrible all the time, throughout summer, I should say. But around here, the main problem is gnats and biting flies. And the best thing for gnats is this $1 bottle of imitation vanilla that you get at Dollar General or any other place, as long as you get the the imitation stuff. And it is better if you get it fresh every year. Um, you grab yourself a spray bottle and put it on. Vanilla doesn't spray that well, at least not with this one. I usually just put it in my hand. I actually did it already. Just put a little bit on and rub it in and put it on my neck and around my face. And it's not a bad smell. to smell like a cookie. And for some reason, the gnats, the biting gnats around here cannot stand it and they just leave you alone. It's like they just vanish. And then the other thing, this is uh, homemade tick spray. I call it Tick Off. And it's made up of rose geranium oil. I believe these are called essential oils. And Chinese cedarwood oil. Um, this is the main one, so you put mostly this and a few drops of this. Um, you do kind of smell like a rose, but it's better than getting Lyme's disease. So 
but I try to remember to spray this around my ankles and on my pants legs whenever I go outside. Um, like even mowing the lawn or sitting here by my picnic table. I've had, I've been sitting right here working on my car and had ticks crawl up on me just from the grass along the edge here. So it is definitely a problem around here. Uh, one other thing I do is I use this here, seventh generation free and clear dish soap. I use this as a body wash and hair shampoo. And I put the uh, rose geranium oil in this. And sometimes I do the, uh, the other one too, um, but mostly the rose geranium. This will gives me a little extra protection when I'm out in tick country. And so my whole body smells a little bit not so good to the ticks. That's the main thing. But you can also use Ivory Clear or Dr. Brunner's or whatever biodegradable soap you like to use. Okay, I have not done it this way before, but I'm going to try to spray inside this bag so I can keep other times in the past I've just hung them up on the clothesline and sprayed them and of course you're spraying most of the permethrons just flying through the air and being blown away. So I'm going to try to spray it inside this bag to main, keep all the extra droplets in the bag. I'm going to finish off this can first from the last time I treated them. Gloves on. 